It's Vivek Mabubani with the other co-host, who is... Sleepy Muhammad. That is right. We're doing this on an early morning, one of our earliest yeah. recordings we're having. This is fresh off the press. I got the sleepy part, so yeah. the next part, I'm going to change my name to Joe, and then I can run for president. Oh. And then I'll be Sleepy Joe. Yeah, but then yeah. The, the face won't fool anybody. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, somehow this doesn't fit our criteria. And I don't stutter. Yeah, not, I, not as often as he does. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, yeah, true, true. And you don't make that many bad decisions anyway. <laughs> and okay. I don't fall off stairs. <laughs> <laughs> guy's, a, guy's a mess. I don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> don't worry. At the moment, still, your your handle online is? Is at the other Mohammed. Yeah, and if you want to find me, if I'm ever running for president, it'll still be funny, <laughs> Vivek. Yeah, well, <laughs> you are from Hong Kong. There is no more, yeah, no more elections. They it's will done. Never, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll run for my own little president. Also, this is going to be the shortest episode we do, right? After this, I say this, is going to be like... <laughs> exactly. And yeah. then the Chinese national anthem playing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I have like a disclaimer. The Laura is next to me going like, I oh, say that. Say yeah, that yeah, now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're sitting in a Shenzhen cell. And then you're like, I mistake. I made a yeah. huge mistake. Yeah, I am the other I came here voluntarily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, so today we're really happy to have our guest who I'm sure if you've ever heard any live music in Hong Kong, you've been to any live music band show. Basically, if you've ever heard, heard any sound that's not from your radio or your, <laughs> your MP3 player, you probably had some event involved with this. Our guest who is, of course, Chris B., the founder of Underground Hong Kong, which if you don't know about this, it's not the, it's not the train. This is the, this is the running joke. Dude, I most of our listeners would know yeah they would yeah, know yeah, yeah. We, ha- we have the cool gang yeah this is the this is the running joke that Chris and I have always had where people search for the underground Hong Kong and they get like the train in, in London yes that's right yeah. <laughs> really yeah, they really do yeah, yeah. that's yeah, we funny we should have made a, a new word for it like underground or something <laughs> yeah. like undergrunge uh, yeah. or an undergrown yeah. you can't copyright a regular word <laughs> right. right yeah yeah so yeah you can copyright a pun though right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. so that was back in 2004 correct yeah that, yeah that was a gosh. long time yeah. so Chris how are you today I'm happy that you here i mean i know that you're a very busy person not just <laughs> juggling live music but also live family as well live family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah live you're also family. with that on that thread you're also juggling a live family with 15 plans. plans yeah exactly. <laughs> weird though yeah because they, you know why because they don't talk back <laughs> <laughs> they don't heckle me <laughs> do, they, do your kids ha- heckle you oh no, no but you know what my daughter said to me one day she goes Oh, mommy, like, whenever we walk down in the street, someone always knows you. We have to stop to talk to someone. Someone oh, knows wow. Crispy. And I was like, it's not that bad, really. Like, she makes it sound really yeah. bad. How old is she? she uh, she's 14. I have twin daughters. They're wow. 14, nearly okay. 15. Efficiency, man. Yeah. 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 That, that is impressive. <laughs> yeah, at one go, get it done. Yeah, man. okay. And they also, yeah, they do talk back at this age. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice to, um, yeah. I was thinking about it. It's like having twin twin daughters as children. Like, every time they talk back, the top I can stereo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and like they like live music. They've been to a few of the events that weren't in bars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like festivals. I yeah, think yeah, they yeah. actually interned on Mellow, the Mellow Yellow. Yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so uh, what, what is the legal age for drinking here? Uh, 18. 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, 18. Still got yeah that's the legal yeah. age. Yeah. <laughs> the keyword being legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean that you have to go to a bar. It's really bizarre because I actually did look into the laws of Hong Kong when I was younger about the legal age of drinking, and the idea is you cannot. It's legal age of purchasing mm. if i'm caught on the streets 16 year old drinking beer it's okay really yeah I th- would that have changed by now i don't know actually <laughs> does it really someone is concerned yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, like do not listen to what he just said yeah, just yeah. Now. all the kids yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so okay so then you brought them to live music shows to let them see what it's like are they into live music do they play music as well uh they don't play music uh so probably they're going to be the one behind like pushing the mixers and everything one day yeah, so, yeah yeah they might be doing that so yeah, yeah. or other things which is great because um, yeah I didn't want to be a tiger mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't force it for <laughs> no, sure. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did though. I forced them to do the Tom Lee. Um, oh, the courses. The courses. Nice. They both have perfect pitch mm. um, yeah. because it's a really good, you know, teaching system. But they both, when they got old enough, they realized they didn't have to go. They, right. They, I, they went from when they were three and then years old, and then about seven, they were like. Oh, oh yeah. so I yeah. can just fold my arms and refuse to play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or, I, or I can leave the house. It doesn't mean I will go there. Yeah, well, no, I go with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you know, so well, it's very yeah. good to have perfect pitch because then you can either tell people off like I don't like your tone. What what tone? Like oh, I I know exactly the tone. That <laughs> yeah. was a C sharp. How dare you talk to me in that <laughs> <Nice>. tone? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never thought of that. But but they have really different tastes in music, right? Yeah. So it's interesting. So they're like my um, younger market demographics of research. Yeah. Wow. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's big 
week on TikTok. What's uh, yeah? You let me know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's listening to what now? Because yeah, yeah I'm a little bit older now. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but then bring let, let's let's go back to how it all began because I remember I was reading some uh, interviews and articles about how it all began. Where basically uh, a lot of venues were having live music at most, but maybe one band at like that was late at night, and then you felt like, hey, we're wasting time during the e- early evening. Why can't we do some live music? And most venues were like, nah. We don't really care. Mm. But then you were like, no, this is going to happen. This is the crispy. So crispy is a very proactive as in like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. No, we, this yeah. is happening. We are doing things. Yeah, this yeah. is going to happen kind yeah, of mentality. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, I just <laughs> do it. Like, I think, um, I and mean, it was post-Zars, right? Yeah. Mm. So there was not much happening. And then like, like not as bad as now, obviously, but... Yeah. Bars needed more income, and I'd, I'd walk in, I'd go and check them out. Mm. I'd go like, okay, it's Saturday night, it's 9 p.m. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, there's nobody here, yeah. right? And Because if you walk in a bar at 9 p.m. and it's yeah. throbbing, yeah. they're not going to pay any attention to you. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. So so I would pitch to these bars, look, let me bring 100 people. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, I'm sorry, what? Yes. Yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah. And, and you sell them alcohol, and I'll put on the live music, I'll organize and get all the bands yeah. together, promote it, da-da-da-da. Yeah. So... Um, but some, initially, some, yeah, some bars went for it, and okay. it, it, initially it was just for fun. Yeah, it was just like I was in a new band, and yeah. new, new bands playing original music mm. only have maybe three, four, five songs. Right? It's yeah. different to a cover band, of course, because you can just blah, blah, blah. you yeah. have to play Hotel California, otherwise you, <laughs> you, you can't go <laughs> out. No, you have no, to. don't <laughs> say that. Oh, I'm leaving now. <laughs> um, I think it's the law. <laughs> you can't be called a cover band otherwise. <laughs> 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 so but yeah so original music because i've been i've been and i hope to be again in an original music band it, it, mm. like when you create a song yeah you, you know first you put the music together maybe the lyrics or whatever order it comes in yeah, yeah. then you practice then you're like how should we start it how should we end it mm. should we have a bridge should we have a guitar solo and an original song might take them you know 10 band practices yeah like 40 it's, hours before yeah. it's created. Yeah. A cover song, even it's even even easier now. You can just mm. pull up a YouTube and if you can play the guitar or whatever. Yeah, yeah you just read the that notes. That night, yeah. you can play it. Yeah, true, yeah. true. Right? You, you, so it's very different. So I thought, let's honor the original musicians, right? That's what makes a scene, in yeah. my opinion. Absolutely, People are writing yeah. about um, love. It's yeah. okay. Usually, mm. yeah. Politics, it's okay. Um, flowers, plants, trees, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> sorry, it's all, it's all, all his yeah. plants. Yeah, getting distracted. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's yeah. It makes the scene because people start writing about what matters to them. I mean, it's great to, to cover songs that are also meaningful to yeah. you. Mm. Um, but that's what makes a real scene when people write about it and you know what they're passionate about. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I thought I'd honor it, and I didn't intend to start a 17-year legacy. Yeah. Like, it wow. was just for fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In 204. I mean, uh, most uh, things like this start always just like, oh, yeah, I was drunk one night and I started <laughs> did this thing. Actually, yeah. Actually, that <laughs> there was, you go. That's in the story. Yeah, 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 yeah of course it, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I was reading, I'm like, well, what, what were you drinking? Like, what, what, whenever I've had beer, nothing great comes out of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unfair. Like, well, what brand is this? Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, it was Mike and I who started. We were playing in a band together. Yeah. And we were like, let's make it like Q Magazine. But online, uh-huh. um, Q Magazine was, it stopped publishing. It was a British magazine, which reviewed, it would re- do album reviews, but also it would do like... Um, live show reviews. Live show reviews. Oh, that's so cool. So we said, let's do that. And of course, we didn't hire professional writers. Mm. We were just doing it <coughs> yeah. under, under pseudonyms. <laughs> <laughs> and, I will be and, Chris A. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, and, you know, it was just for fun. I'd learned how to make websites during yeah. Zara, mm. so I thought we'll just make something simple with photos and some mm. reviews, and there was no intention of... Anything like, more from anything that, but more, whatever came, you know, yeah, you just went just, with so it. We were just having fun. Yeah. Because so, yeah. you know. I remember initially, uh, even myself, when I got, because I used to be in a band and everything, right? Mm. And I think any band in Hong Kong will definitely come across the underground. And you would automatically be like, oh, how do I get, a, get in touch with this? What's going on? Or your friend will play there. You're like, oh, what is this? Tell me you know, who, who the contact is. And everybody will immediately be able to contact you. It'll be crispy. Everybody knows crispy. Mm. No, most people don't even know what the B stands for. I'm not going to reveal it here, but like, <laughs> most people don't really know. Is it, is it a secret? Oh, no. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> If you, if, you, if you simply just Are you on. also like a big corporate lawyer or something? Oh, that I you, wish. You wouldn't want the identities <laughs> revealed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like, you know, Supergirl or something. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we had this one guy in Shanghai, comedian. His name was his name was Laurent Jonot. He's a French guy, very French name. And he realized that it's kind of might affect his work if people look him up. 
and then he changed his name to Laurent Dupont. <laughs> which is like it's now, like very close, very French name. Yeah. Like, can you just say Laurent B? Like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like people probably put to there's only four French guys in yeah, Shanghai. Yeah. So it's probably <laughs> him. It's like everyone is like Frank. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Because like uh, even myself. So I remember I was just searching online for whatever shows there were, and I came across the underground. And this is a weird thing, right? So I'm also I also make websites and everything, and mm. then like. This is this is my policy in life for that if I'm associated with something, it has to have a good website. And I wanted to do shows that the other says the guy who so made the one. Oh, we find out the real reason. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I'd love to help you make a better website. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I want to show it too. Yeah. <laughs> so can you book my band every week, please? Exactly. Yeah. I will maintain your website as long as you get bookings. Yeah. Also, week. says the guy who made the website for takeout comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> was that your first draft? And <laughs> <laughs> that was ran out of budget. <laughs> the budget of zero. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because oh, I remember so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, like, I remember. Did you come up with the color scheme for that for takeout? Yeah, I know that's, that's the takeout orange color. Oh, okay. So I had to stick with that. I couldn't. Yeah. I was like, can it, I change it? The like, first no. time, the first time I went on it, I thought it's a kindergarten website. <laughs> it's just like the pictures, how they're <laughs> and, done, and, and, and the, the handwritten font. Exactly, and the handwritten font. I'm like, all right, where do I sign up for my kid here? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> exactly. <so weird>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the, that's another thing I learned as well working with the underground is that you by that time you already pretty much had the idea of the yellow and black shade. Was there a reason behind that? That like, it just came across. It just no, worked out. it was just I can't even remember who, <laughs> who did that logo and yeah. and I think I think as a as a marketing thing or something. Mm. I've been uh, criticized. is quite a strong word, but no, I, you, I think they were criticizing, saying mm. a it's too Halloweenish, yeah. b it's too jarring, c. And over the years, people have said, you know, you should rebrand, you should rebrand. And mm. I'm like, you know, I'm kind of booking a bunch of shows and doing festivals. I'm and busy, Running yeah. a household. Yeah. I don't have time to rebrand. And, you know, I... I also, it works. Yeah, it yeah. works. And, you know, some mistakes are lovable. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just like, We're I'm not gonna... talking about children, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just going to bring it out there. <laughs> this is a different underground. Different Guys, underground. if you're listening to this, she's totally not winking at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know it's it's interesting like everything in the underground apart from the posters i do i organize I, i've been on the door mm. taking money yeah I've emceed i played them yeah you know i talk to the sponsors i talk to the venue i can do every part of it except the design yeah so i always need someone to design posters and all the stuff so, you know, we, we, I think when it was 10 years, I think you were there. We talked about making a new logo. Yeah, there was, yeah, I yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. people came up with designs, and I was just like, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Know. It doesn't resonate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's like, why are we flapping around with this? Yeah, instead yeah. Because I think, what I think, matters? I think the 10 year thing, it kind of established that the underground has been here long enough that people know of it. And that brand, like that font, if you actually go to so undergroundhk.com, that's mm. where you want to go check out, and you'll see the logo. It has a font where you're like, oh, this is like a very Halloween kind of font that you'd find mm -hmm. and guess what this is what people recognize if you change that into like an abstract you or something people are like what's this I, yeah. I yeah and yeah. then you, you actually have to spend money to promote yeah. it yeah and, 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 re then, and time and resources yeah and I just and thought, again if it works don't quack with it yeah. just leave it there <laughs> oh I didn't know we were allowed to swear oh yeah. no no oh yeah by all means yeah. <laughs> I mean we're gonna put like a duck quack on top oh, of the yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. my 14 year old daughters might be oh yeah okay so totally Okay, that's yeah, the yeah. best part. Okay, so just quack. Or yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do that for, just for you. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll literally put Mo's. If own it works, don't whack with it. <laughs> <laughs> I will literally take that whack and put it over. <laughs> So, All right, so yeah. it, it was at the ten year mark. I remember that we even did, was that when we did that uh, that, that, that the the performance with all the staff. That was a, so okay. Yeah. So the underground. I remember. So what happened was I contacted Crispy and I started to get to know her, and we started working together. And I did shows at her venue. I used to have a in, be in my band called Eve of Sin. So mm. we did shows over there, and actually that was my first time performing in Central Area at a. Uh, venue down on I think that's Wyndham uh, what's that slope uh, to sh where Sugar is right. uh, was that 
Chi Hei Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those. And basically, this is the this is the funny story, right? So uh, the fact that it's in Central, that means a lot of my relatives mm. who never leave the island were like, huh? "Oh, I can come support you now." Right. Because normally <laughs> Bancho is like in Kun Tong and somewhere far. Yeah. And everything. yeah. This is in Central. Like, oh, I know Central. I've yeah. been there before. <laughs> Taxi speak English. You know? <laughs> right. So then I've got this aunt. She comes up. She's at the show. She's telling me, "Oh, it's so good. I brought my I brought my nephew as well. I want him to see what music's like and everything." She did not realize I'm in a metal band. <laughs> 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 and I'm at the I'm at the drums and we're like, all right, let's get ready. Yeah. <laughs> leaves. She yeah. leaves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Immediately yeah. leaves. I'm like, she paid, it's fine, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> yeah, as as she she think you're like a Satan worshipper as well or something? She probably was just like, Where where's the tunes? Where's yeah. the tunes? You know? Like, I thought, you know, with the with the tablas, you know, stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> tablas. That's so funny. I thought he was like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is what is this? Yeah, yeah. Where is the Bollywood dance? Exactly. What's yeah. Right? <laughs> exactly. So I've had that, and we've actually done a few shows together. And the fun thing is with the underground, it's not like any other band show where like you just go there, play, and leave. You've mm. got it all set where you've got like a photographer, you've got the people who come to review, and and you update the website immediately the, the next day. I remember like sometimes you message me, oh, this is this is this, go update it. I'm like, okay, it's gonna do, get it done <laughs> because like it's essential. A lot of bands after you perform, you're really critical and think like, oh, what did they think? Was yeah, it good? Yeah. You want to see the photos. And if you go to the underground, uh, sorry, undergroundhk.com, you will see that there's a whole bunch of photos from every show. Like a whole bunch, yeah. dude. Like to the point, Chris was like, hey, how can we store all these photos? I'm like, the server is going to get exploded. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. thousands. We, yeah, you yeah. You cannot. Yeah. 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 Here's <laughs> a hard happening. desk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, and you'll go there. And it's fun because like, when I finished pre- performing that night, I went the next day or two days later. And then I was looking at the pictures going like, wow, this is such a cool feeling that yeah. someone actually made sure the photos are there. Someone reviewed your band. Uh, I didn't get the best reviews. You know, so... <laughs> Oddly enough, as a, was as it a, was it from Chris D? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think by this point we had real people, yeah, who actually like listen to music, <laughs> people, right? Yeah, yeah. And can reference bands. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. The funny thing is like the funny thing is like she sends me the review to update the website. Right. I'm like, wait, I'm gonna change the uh, yeah. review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. should be booked for next year's <laughs> exactly. <Coachella. laughs> exactly. Best act of the year. Exactly. Also, great comedian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> comedian in the making. Yeah. Yeah. I was in comedy Ah, nice, yeah. Way back, man. That was way, way, way back. Did you have long hair? I actually had hair. (laughs) (laughs) And did it all just slide down to your chin? (laughs) No, it was growing out of my forehead. (laughs) So I will take that. The length doesn't make anything for me. (laughs) All right, so coming back to another thing. So now a lot of people know you for the live music and everything. Mm -hmm. We know you underground. However, a lot of times you'll see any sort of, let's say, uh, women-oriented events or discussions. You are always involved as well because what you're doing is non-traditional. It's not the typical mentality of like, oh, this is what women are. Are, 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 are designed to do right at the same time being a mother as well balancing all that stuff together people are always admiring how are you able to balance this uh, as a person who can never give birth to other people <laughs> <laughs> not yet it's 2021 we'll see yeah 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 still have a few years yeah, in yeah exactly as pre- <laughs> they already have emojis on whatsapp of like pregnant men so I think yes. it's just the beginning wow. yeah that's the beginning yeah, yeah. They, they've yeah. introduced right. that now yes pregnant we- pre- yeah, I mean yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's going like did you not watch my movie like I, I, I mean hello I was way ahead of the game yeah. already yeah so um, have you ever had moments in your life, we said, I think it's time to retire from one side of what I'm doing, or have you just been like, no, this is it. This is I need this to you know feel alive every day. Yeah, I think I need I need it. Um, I it's um, I like performing. Yeah, I really really like promoting and creating events and watching live music. Yeah, as well as listening to it. I, I like live. Right, mm-hmm. I'm actually visually driven. Yeah. Um, um, yes, my family is important too, and I just think. Well, you've only got one life to live, right? Yeah. yeah. So do what you know. My husband's been really supportive, Sean. Like, is he yeah, not yeah. in the industry at all? Oh, he is actually now. Okay. He does really, really big events. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so it's still like <laughs> he's not like, like he's not like not understanding of what you're doing and just yeah. letting you be. He's actually involved as well. Yeah. That's I, awesome. But that was that was a few years ago. Before that, he was quite corporate. Let's right, say. yeah, 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 that's, but yeah, but it's it's okay, and mm. it's he's having more fun now. I think. Yeah, I'm and sure it's, it's yeah. all different environment, you know, yeah. corporate board meetings and everything. Yeah. versus this is very yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, it's in, it's interesting, really interesting stuff. But you know, I can do it. Or I'm actually, someone once gave me this really nice compliment, which I find it very, you know, they called me the queen of admin. <laughs> 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 like, wow. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, 
But I get it a lot. Like, I think maybe you felt it, but I get bands going, wow, it's so well organized. You tell yeah. us what's going to happen, yeah. what's going to take place, how much we're going to get paid, yeah. how long the set is, yeah. Yeah. what the equipment is. And I'm thinking, but these Isn't are the ordinary basics? things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, which tells you how bad the band scene actually can yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. We, have, got- we have had many rants on this podcast about how bad a comedy she can, uh, show can, can be run. And it's exactly the oh, same thing. Same, right? yeah, 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 yeah. We get booked for events and they pay sometimes a lot of money. And you go in, you're like, yeah, you stand on this rooftop. We're going to be on the other building. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. is not a show. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, yeah. 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 People are going to watch from the balcony from their side and <laughs> yeah. someone is going to be in their bedroom and that hotel over there yeah, they got like and you <laughs> just make them laugh okay yeah <laughs> like they got like a bluetooth speaker that's yeah, cutting yeah, in yeah, and out exactly. like, oh, just don't walk all the way there because the reception <laughs> yeah you know, yeah yeah far. you're gonna get, go out of the spotlight i'm like no 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 take your money i don't want to do it yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like venues that treat live music as a last resort yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. their business is failing they yeah. heard the underground can bring people so they like oh come over we got a venue and i'm like i'm always excited right yeah. so i'll go to the venue and it'll be like you know, it'd be like this little corner. Yeah. yeah. And they go, we got a couple of mics. <laughs> yeah. And no stage. And they are um, karaoke mics. Uh, yeah. Ter- <laughs> yeah. Terrible, yeah, like, battery, battery yeah. operated mics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then they say, you know, like, and we've got, you know, we've got a thousand dollars. And I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you think was going to happen? Also, it's Zimbabwean dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so, and, and people's expectations, you know, sometimes they're like, oh, but, but they'll do it for exposure. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. You know that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, right? of course. Yes. Yeah. And we and both like, immediately went, no. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, the underground's been running 12 years, the, whatever it was. Yeah. We don't need your exposure. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. You need our exposure. Yeah, now. exactly. The fact that we put your name on our website <laughs> yeah. bring people yeah. there. And yeah. it's like people, and then, you know, then, then it, you know, another can of worms. But we're, we're currently, we're really lucky. We're working with Ruler Live. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and, and actually, I'm going to be working with Peel Fresco to do uh, to relaunch Shazza Music Show. Cases. Okay, okay, okay. The okay. new band showcase. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because bless the watch it, it closed last year uh-huh. I think they do intend to reopen but who knows yeah, when it's going to be so hard it's Fresco yeah. closed now yeah no 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 no, no. Oh, Fresco's a, okay. the watch oh uh, the watch yeah 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 okay yeah, that's where I, I think did. we had we had someone from the watch here on the podcast you and Andy did Uh, way back yeah I think so yeah how you yeah. run shows uh, yeah yeah I think so it has I, or the guy there. who runs it I don't remember something like that yeah yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, it ran for I mean I played my first gig there years ago I was going to ask you actually do you remember the first venue where you played your gig was it the one the launch was where I played oh, my wow. first show, yeah. yeah. Wow. And then Fringe Club and yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, but lots of bands, their first show is at Shazam Music Showcase at the launch. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so this is like the open mic, not really the open no, mic, but like more a, like a it's like showcase a new, new talent. New band because, right, right, right. Oh, because this is why. Because four year, four or five I think three years in, I started taking the underground more seriously and I thought, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna charge, I'm gonna yeah. charge on the door, I'm gonna charge. Forty dollars. Oh. Right, people yeah. were still trying to sneak right. in. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like people, I mean, like forty bucks. How yeah. much is a taxi here? Fifty. Yeah, yeah, fifty yeah. or something, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's like with the, the thrill of getting like sneaking into yeah. a van. It yeah. doesn't matter. You don't care about the money. Just no, like yeah, no, it's a thrill. Yeah. yeah, I do agree. So yeah. Uh, where was I going to? Oh yeah, so so in those days, I would a band would email me and go, "Hey, we'd like to play, right?" And you know, and I was starting to get better venues. Like I was working with like Lang Kwai Fong Beer Bar and stuff. Mm, yeah, I think this was more five years. So I, I the band I listened to their YouTube, let their you know watch their YouTube, listen to the MP3, and thought, "Oh, it's okay. I'll put them as the opening band, mm. right?" Um, they sent me an instrumental, right? So. Come the wow. night, this, this, you know, this first band's actually brought maybe 30 or 40 people, right? right. Yeah. The, the singer's got lots of friends. Mm. Then they start, and it is the most off-pitch, off-key singing you have ever <laughs> heard. Literally, their yeah. fr- his friends start piling out. Yeah. They start, oh, he's my friend, but I can't take this. Yeah. The manager comes running over to me and goes, get this band off now! <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, and yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Even oh the bartenders God. are quitting. The landlord is coming. He's like, shut it down. Yeah. They, did one, they did one song. I went, I'm so sorry. You really have, I've never done that in my life. Right, yeah. You yeah. have to get off stage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you know what? It's right because people paid to come in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. A certain quality. You're a yeah. promoter. Like, it's, like, at some point, you have to be the 
bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was like my first show there, and he's thinking, "Oh, you said you'd book good bands." Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Like, and they're kind of like, oh, "I don't my know." Whole life yeah, it's just falling apart. Yeah, yeah. it happens. Did, uh, did you get used to it by now? Like giving feedback that can be kind of harsh. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I mean, everyone was nice about it, and and then we realized that night I would have to see the bands live. I could not just accept yes. YouTube or yeah, 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 yeah. MP3. Because also you get to see their audience interaction. Yes. Yeah. They could be yeah. really good, but they spend their whole time looking, you know, yes. yeah, yeah, looking There is the so many similarities between what you are saying and booking comedians as well, because oh, I'm also okay. a comedy promoter. It's, it's almost exactly the same. And a lot of times someone, uh, one of our friends is like, oh yeah, this guy I saw at an open mic. I'm like, yeah, I got to go see them for myself. Because I made that mistake so many times when someone's like, oh, he's really funny. Just put him on a page show. And then they tank the entire show. And wow. now I have a hundred pissed off people at me wow. who bought tickets. And they're like, hey, what the Quack. fuck was that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Funny, <laughs> right? Yeah. Quack. Yeah, exactly. Quack. Yeah, yeah. Quack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So now, yeah, you just have to go see them for yourself. Yeah. Because then because then I, I see the bands. They're, they're all, all these bands are in my head. Mm. Then it's actually much easier to make a show. Right, so if I if I think oh I'm gonna because because we uh, we used to number them. Do you remember? They yeah, went yeah, yeah. One, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. three, uh, four, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the way up to 118, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And then we do a few random like heavy shows. Right, right. Then I started realizing the heavy shows. Then we did girls with guitars. Yeah. S- songs without words, instrumental shows. Right. We started realizing the themes actually were easy. A easier to market, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and B easier for the audience to get because they they might come, they come with an impression for the eve like, of right. sin, right? Yeah, 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 for the yeah. metal, yeah, and then we put a pop band on afterwards. Right. And they like, yeah, leave, yeah, right. Yeah. But me, I like a mix, but right, I discovered I wasn't normal. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. People, yeah. I one type, yeah, because yeah. like I remember uh, that night when my my uh, band Eve of Sin was playing, we were last, which was a good idea because yeah. it's like okay, the, the people who are here to watch metal, yeah, are probably gonna like just trash the place. Well, not trash. We were very yeah, kind yeah. people, but like a, a whole mosh pit. <laughs> everything sure yeah and you don't want the band after like, okay so this song's about love yeah <laughs> yeah. Next, yeah yeah yeah, yeah right? so the love of sin yeah. Ah. <laughs> exactly yeah. and then we were the eve so we did it before the sin <laughs> this guy's doing it because he loves the sin so we're actually better people just like, you know <laughs> like, yeah they love it we were just like the, we, we just like the moment before it yeah yeah there's a whole story behind the eve of sin name whatever okay. anyway but then this this brings us back to the whole point now like I'm sure COVID times Again, I was reading articles about like how COVID kind of a- affected the whole industry. Comedy, same for us, where yeah. show live shows were stopped. But what I did notice is that there was a even on your Facebook, you would you post like pretty much every week updates from the government of policies of like mm. live band shows, mm. and it was really mind boggling because like every week, like okay, the numbers are going down. This should be all good. I'm pretty confident things would open up. But, like oh, still no. And d- do you feel like live band or basically live shows in Hong Kong has always got the back seat mm. when it comes to policies in Hong Kong? You know, from the, the support that you receive to the government policies of it, you know, have you always felt that that? Because like, I think comedy as well, people don't seem to appreciate the value of coming to a live event with the social interaction and everything. Because mm. what people are noticing now when they come to live events, like, wow, I haven't, wow, that, it's been a long time since mm. I felt that way. Yeah. Mm. And you don't realize that until you're there. So did you find that happen all the time? Like on paper, it's like, whatever, just go watch YouTube. It's like, no, duh, there's something more to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely something more to it. And, and ah, yeah, I learned so much because <laughs> when COVID hit, we thought it was going to be like SARS. Right? Yeah, yeah. Just a yeah. few months all yeah, over, we'll fine, right? Yeah. And then after a few months, it was apparent it wasn't all yeah. over and they'd stopped live music. And, and actually, I kind of got personally into a funk as well, like kind of, you know, like I do live. Like, yeah. well, what am I going to do? I, this is what I do, and like everything had been taken it's your away. Your identity, from me. pretty much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but then you know, I started talking to people and and professional musicians, and they they like telling me, you know, like this is guys being evicted. Like, and I'm like, oh, that's tough. And and you know, and then I started saying, well, it's just him, right? And then finding out there's more, and mm. you know, people's mental health was, and I knew my mental health was struggling because sure. you know, like you can't, yeah, you can't do what you do. You can't, yeah, and you don't know how long it's going to last for, right? And I heard some musicians they were literally looking at every day they turn in the news how many COVID cases, like you mentioned, oh, it's going down now, yeah, 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 and then it goes up, and yeah. then so their their moods are linked yeah, to yeah, COVID course, cases, yeah. right? And it's like you know you can't live life like that. Like we have to look at options, but some musicians at that point couldn't look at options. Like, mm. um, and then so I started talking to these people who were suffering more than I was, and I thought. 
wow, you know, like, and someone actually said to me, you know, you're a really good promo promoter, Chris. Um, maybe you could promote this cause, mm. right? And I said, oh, oh, and it kind of sparked in me, like, oh, maybe I could do something because I, I'd felt helpless. I can't do mm. anything. Like, oh, right. mm. So then I just started talking to people. What could I do? What could I do? <laughs> you can write letters. You're good at admin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can admin queen. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. can make you a could, Google form. Yeah. <laughs> that will start. Yeah. Well, you can make an orange website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I thought, you know what, what? What do people always ask first thing? They ask for data, mm. right? So I said, let's do a survey, right? All these musicians are out of work. Let's just do a yeah, survey. Yeah, they have time to fill in a survey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't tell me you're you get too busy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> usually you get the emails like, nah, yeah. now yeah. You, can, you can fill in the survey. So I gave them a week and I spread it to musicians I knew and I said, you pass it to musicians you know, it was bilingual, English and Chinese. Mm. I thought maybe a hundred people would reply, right? I mean, I didn't know. I actually right. didn't know. I had some preconceptions mm. as well, yeah. even me in the business, right? Yeah. So at the end of the week, there was like 646 replies, which wow. was like, whoa, 80% are full time. Okay, the rest of it, I've, I've forgotten. But there was like something like 5% were being evicted or were already homeless. Oh, wow. Right? So I was like, oh my God, right? And a lot of people had resorted to savings, borrowing money. Yeah, sure, um, sure. Because we put that in and have they found other work? Sure, some had found other work. Yeah. But some hadn't, right? And when you talk to them, there's different demographics. The 60 plus can't do Food Panda. Yeah. yeah. The 30s or 40 year olds. And also people who doing... don't have a permanent residence or not Hong Kong citizens. Or yeah, yeah. Yeah. They had it even tougher. Yeah. So, so then I thought, let's know we got the data. So I wrote letters to the government. I, I found the Ledgeco page. And yeah. I mean, it was the same email with the name change, but yeah, I right. sent them one by one yeah. to make them feel special. Right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I asked a group of musicians to sign it with me because I thought if it's just... Yeah, just one person. They're like, yeah, oh, this person is yeah. a fan. The underground is just one person organization. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, yeah, whatever. So I got some famous and, you know, I just got 10 names and then eventually out of this 55 at that point 55 politicians and 10 of them reached out over the next month or so yeah. so we went to 10 different meetings and of course i didn't realize this but some are yellow and some are blue yeah I, I yeah. Know, mm. yeah are we allowed to say this yeah 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 and and of course then i people posted oh uh, that you went to meet this person that, that i went to yeah, meet yeah, that yeah. person mm. and actually some of the very sort of politically aware individuals um, unfriended me and yeah. sent me quite... Right, harsh messages. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. let's yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I was actually like, you know, this isn't actually for you. It wasn't political. Yeah. It, I'm simply trying to find a way to help these yeah. musicians mm -hmm. and to understand when they could perhaps go back to work. Yeah. Um, and, and so from that, I realized, then I discovered there's unions, there's alliances, associations in Hong Kong for music, for musicians, yeah. for people working in the music business. But it's very fragmented. One Correct. is for like elderly yeah, musicians yeah, yeah, yeah. from the 60s. Yeah. I was told by Anders Nelson, bless him, oh, he goes, okay, okay. This, this association is just to let you know when someone's died. <laughs> yeah. oh How God. many members? They keep decreasing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all, you know, from the 60s yeah. or something. I'm right. like, oh, okay. So they might not be interested in joining a new union. Yeah. Yeah. Another one was very yellow. Mm. So they stopped talking to me. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they saw the other photos. Yeah, they yeah. were like, yeah, not happening. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. So because at first I thought, let's just get a top union and link them all because the government repeatedly said, you musicians have to show us your numbers. Right. You, you, you're 10 people, right? According yeah. to my email. Yeah. Sorry, 10 people doesn't sway yeah. it. But yeah. You know, like the restaurant and bar industry has thousands. Yeah, oh, yeah, they yeah, managed yeah. to get bars to reopen Re yeah, 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 yeah. because they were a because, mass yeah, force. Pressure. Yeah. yeah, I think also because like the bars, they got upset because like, why could restaurants serve alcohol yes. yeah. and yes. bars cannot? You know, yeah. the policy yeah, there was a lot of arbitrary, almost random decisions until someone, as you said, like get together is like, okay, this is bullshit. You yeah. need, you need yeah. to, yeah. yeah. It's, it's and, and, and it was, I think we did discover that musicians aren't important to the government. It's yeah. Live music is not important yeah. to them. Well, right? yeah, unless right. it's super traditional classical music. Like if you were, let's say, with the orchestra and everything, yeah, then the government's like, oh, yes, this, this yes. we must have. Yeah. Yes, right? the, yeah. the so government got... venues are okay. Oh, but yeah, bars, yeah. they must be, you know. Yeah, we yeah. cannot promote this kind of mentality. Yeah. yeah. Right? There's only yeah. five chords, but, you know, we have way more industry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have all the... <laughs> so yeah. then, so it was and an uphill battle. Yeah, so, so after I couldn't get them to talk to each other, um, I finally realized perhaps a charity would be the way to go. Yeah. And so I started researching charities or the for musicians in every yeah. country. 
and luckily discovered the one in Australia, it's called Support Act, mm. yeah. was started 21 years ago by a friend of mine who used to work in the music industry here in Hong Kong. Wow, you didn't even know that no, they I have a charity I, there. No, I didn't. They have one. You were in the not UK. a very they supportive. They have them all over the place. Right, right, they have okay. Them in Japan. They yeah. might even have them in China. I just can't read it. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. But they don't have one in Hong Kong. They have charities to help you know um, yeah, disabled children yeah. with yeah. music mm. they have things where music helps you but they don't actually have charity in hong kong to help musicians ah okay okay, okay. Right? so basically so the charity is more music oriented at how can music aid people yes right not the musicians behind not the, the music musicians right, right right you might need to aid the children yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, yeah. you yeah. see yeah, yeah. support so, aid you see how the west yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. so so there and and then she put me in touch with the person the admin queen of their oh, office there was a new challenger <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i see your form i raise it <laughs> <laughs> but it was really good so i could ask her like and and she said and i I spoke to her at, like, at the end of last year. She said it was 21 years. She said for the first 20 years, they were independent. But because of COVID, the Australian government gave them like 10 million Australian wow. dollars. Wow. And she said normally they helped 25 musicians a year. Last year, they helped 520. Ooh. Right. Right. Because or they could have also helped 25 and give them like 500,000 each. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That also works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that works too. <laughs> um, but it was really good. So I thought I would model it on their charity since it works, right? I, I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. I have no idea how yeah. to set up a charity, how to do all this. Yeah. So she, she gave me a lot of advice. And then I found a lawyer who would help me set it up because I don't know that side. Yeah. And then I went to find directors who would support this because I didn't want it. Like it can't be just me deciding. No, yeah. I need yeah. people to hold me accountable. Obviously, sure. yeah. right. So, yeah. so th all that is admin. <laughs> yeah, 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 took time. Um, and meanwhile, you know, and I'm you finally still... earned the title of Queen of Admin <laughs> <laughs> officially. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just not very, you know, rock, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like... <laughs> so you got like the metal music blasting. Oh, uh, now background. you can change the logo to you sitting between a lot of papers, just <laughs> throwing them around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's all, the logo's going to change to just the asterisk sign for the required fields when you fill the form. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> very good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but. But having the charity, I mean, it's still like the lawyer says it's almost, almost going to get charity status. And I, I looked at my LinkedIn; it's been nearly a year. Yeah, I mm. didn't realize that time just happens, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And in, mm. in between, we've been, I've been organizing. Oh, that's another secret I can share with you. In mm. in November, we're going to have the Gold Coast Jazz Festival, and it'll be all professional musicians. Nice. Playing in, 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 November twenty twenty one. This year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Thirteenth and fourteenth. So Ooh, it's um, nice. we'll have professional musicians playing, and it's and we'll bring more recognition to Musicians Foundation yeah. as mm. well. So we we're doing. We, I've been doing that since October last year. Anyway, getting them to play because. Mm. They get some money, yes, yeah. but you know what? It's it's the performing yeah, and of the course. mental health. Yeah, yes, the, yes, yes. The, you know, yes, like. getting to be able to do your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. one thing you know how to do yeah. really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, know, yeah. The, and and they really do it really well. Mm. So it's um so it's nice. I mean, yes, I know live music is permitted again, um, and everyone's staying positive and hopeful. We just don't know, so yeah. we're just still going to push through. I I'm not in the mind of oh everything will be okay now. Right, we just yeah. don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 you have to right. be ready for Plan B. It's, if it's, it's, you yeah. know, like even and you also can't fly people in, so no, it's still, yeah. No, you can't. So you have to, and it, uh, in a way, you know, um, at the beginning of the year, I was watching this, uh, not this year, no, end of last year, I was watching this Tony Robbins podcast, mm. and I got really annoyed when he said, "Okay, now I want you to think about what's good about COVID," <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. you know what? I, I, I wouldn't have been motivated to help these musicians yeah. i wouldn't have you know even thought about doing a charity i wouldn't there was many things that there, yeah. there are actually good things if you force yourself yeah, to think about it, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. you have to find it and go and do it and and you know and you know i have a lot more friends now like yeah. Lot, yeah. lots of lovely musicians and i feel like my life has purpose again like, yeah i'm gonna carry on doing live music but yeah. we don't know what's going to happen that's yeah. one thing we all know we just don't know what's going to happen yeah. yeah so we make do with the best 
of what we what it is today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I so, mean, like what what you're able to show as well through COVID is that live music as he is important, not just for performers, but I think also just people's lifestyle. Like people don't realize that I haven't been to a show for so long. I, yes, I, I completely forgot what it was like. It's like having a nice night out with friends. If you always just been exactly. in meetings all day, you're like, ah, this is talking. I don't want to talk. But then a night out with friends is like that's a different type of. It's talking. also that sense of normalcy. It's like yes. yeah, I can just go to a show. I don't have to plan it if I can just walk into a bar and listen to a band and yeah. have a beer. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, even if we're all stuck here, we still need to feel normal. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. even like the sight of masks, I understand like people have PTSD from SARS time, but the sight of masks is still not normal. Mm. Yeah. That 100% of the population are covering their faces. Actually, I am. I admit, coming from the Middle East, I'm very used to it. <laughs> but you know, a little different still. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Wasn't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did not see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it took her a second. She's like, "Whoa, okay." Like, oh, that's where he's going. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. win. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You just reminded me, yeah. like, some of these government meetings, like, like, and and you know, you, you sit there and you talk to them, and they're having, they're like, "Yes, all musicians should wear." Mask. And yeah. I'm like, well, what about the sax player and yeah. the flute player? And <laughs> yeah, the, we make a hole like, in their mask. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, like, well, we don't suggest that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But they're like, oh, you know, like, why, why do you have to argue? Either you wear mask, or I'm not going to take this to yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. The so higher power that, or whatever. Yeah, that's the, very yeah. true, actually, because yeah. like it makes me think back. So I worked with the Hong Kong Philharmonic uh, for a couple of shows, uh, I think, earlier this year. And it was bizarre because, okay, so we did the show at the Cultural Center, and I was basically the MC. okay? So it was like a family event on a Sunday afternoon. And being the MC, you know, it was a little comedy, a little fun sort of thing. And I was told just the day before the show, they're like, oh, yeah, you cannot encourage the audience to cheer. I was like, wait, what? But like, yeah, you cannot let them, you should not be like, make some noise. You cannot, because we want to avoid them creating, uh, using their mouths to make sounds and everything to avoid like, you know, spit and stuff like that. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, meow, 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 meow. yeah. Quack. I'm like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you know what I'm good at? Like, yeah, I'm good at yeah, riling yeah, up the crowd and getting to go, like, make some noise. That's what I'm good at. Like, yeah. part of my act is this, you know? What, yeah. I, I, you I'm all about the reaction, right? Yeah. Yeah. What did you do? So make I, some silence if you like this show. Clap. So, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, yeah, they're allowed to clap, but I was yeah. like, okay, so now what we're going to do today's show, we're going to be in a library. We're all in the library. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you all nice. to cheer, but just, you know, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a whole room of kids going like, uh, it's so weird. It was so weird. I was yeah. like, man, okay, so clap softly. Clap yeah. softly. It was it was just weird because like I just thought to myself, like, do you understand the whole experience? Is for these kids to come out because it's a family, uh, I forget what the full name is, but it's the Sunday family series, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's for the young kids, like three years old, five years old, to get exposed to music, you know, and just to have a good time, be like, wow, this sounds so fun. And my job is basically get them excited about this, right? So yeah. that one day they want to pick up the violin and the, or play the piano, or whatever, and not be like, oh, mom told me to. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So ha then telling kids like, oh, you know, don't cheer so loud. They're like, but that's what I that's what I do as yeah. a kid. That was tough. Yeah, right. But I tell people like a lot of policymakers don't understand it's the full experience. Coming to a comedy show wearing masks is fine, but you must understand as a performer, you need to see people's facial reactions to adjust your set mm -hmm. and then accordingly adjust it and go with the flow. I need the nods, I need the blinks, I need the smiles, I need the laughs. But if you just tell me like, yeah, but they're listening, I'm like, yes, that's not the point. Mm -hmm. right? Which brings me back to another point. A lot of government policies, I've been to some government meetings as well when it comes to, let's say, uh, you know, ethnic minority kids learning Cantonese in Hong Kong mm -hmm. or basically youth policies. And very often, it's a mentality of like, this works, I'm giving you this, I'm the decision maker, I'm okay with this, I don't need your uh, suggestions of what's better, mm. so let's get on with life now. Right. Yeah. If not, my meeting time is done, I'm going to go now. Yeah. And you'll, you, you start going like, fine, I'll just accept that, whatever mm. you're willing to agree, because yeah. like, you're the one with the power, so yeah. I have no yeah. choice, yeah. right? Yeah. So did you find that after a while, you were just basically trying to figure out ways to uh, please the policy makers? Yes, yes. Right? That's okay, what so that's, that was, let's yeah. want to get into real quick before we, before we end the segment. But like the pleasing the policy, have you had moments where you were just like, man, this goes against certain values of myself, but I have no choice to yep. bend backwards to go talk to these people and work with them. Yep. Right? So you've had that as well. Okay, so, yep. okay, so I was it's, very curious because I've had a lot of those where I'm just like, man, for the, for the greater good, fine. Mm. You know? Yeah, but, but you yeah. come out of the meeting depressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah you come yeah, out. You're yeah. like, man, well, well, this is ridiculous. Yeah. I, I mm. went in thinking that you know, I had this idea. I, I listened to all the podcasts. I did the Tony Robbins, you know, Giant Within. 
like yeah. the power yeah. of now, all that kind of stuff, I'm right? I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. He's like, I've got his voice. And, and you like, just hit a yeah, right? wall. Yeah, I go yeah. there. I'm like, oh, and these guys are like, no. You're like, oh, okay. I guess yeah. that's the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> the entire meeting was 30 seconds. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, not happening. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is what we give you. This is what you take. It's like, yeah. I'll sign here. Thank you. Yeah. There are a couple that were different to that. And I, I won't reveal names or sure. anything. Mm. Yeah. Um, don't even know if they're, <laughs> they're still <laughs> they're there. In the yeah. right. yeah, yeah. But anyway, there yeah. were a couple that, that we... You, we still keep in touch with because they genuinely seem to listen, but the rest mm. were very much like you said. It yeah. seemed like total waste of time. Right. Like we 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 bring in everyone. We bring in like I'd come in. There'd be someone from the union. There'd be people from the production. Mm. You know, we're talking about like fifteen people meetings with mm. the legislator, and and it's like, look, if you don't if you don't agree with what I'm going to put forward, yeah. Then I'm not going to put it forward, right. yeah. and we're like, "Oh no, no, we need the venue to open." Okay, we'll go with whatever you. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. And there was no reasoning. I mean, this is the this is the ultimate frustration: is that you're coming with good intentions. You just want mm. every we want win win, right? Yeah. And I'm sure you've had this, like, because I, I know Crispy's also one of those people that is a very like win win mentality. Mm. It's not just about like me succeeding, but like I want everyone to win, not like I win you lose kind of a deal. But yeah. you go in there with the win win. You're like, guys, I have this great idea. We yeah. can all win. It all works then. for all of yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, right. It makes business and money for everyone yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. what you want right so yeah. I'm helping you they're like yeah but then that requires me to go back and change this form and change yeah, yeah. Right? or yeah. yeah or take it to a higher power as you said yeah. and, like, <laughs> yeah. and I don't want to do that yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. easy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, yeah. So, and yeah. that's why you get more and more people frustrated with basically policy makers and also going private and just saying the whatever I'll just figure it out myself and go our own thing rather than yeah. getting funding from you but certain things like venues being open or not is their decision yes mm. so you're stuck Which with was, that yeah, yeah. And, and at least we did in the end get venues open with quite strict criteria for the musicians sure, like yeah, yeah. To wear masks yeah, yeah. or yeah. do the tests even 48 the, hours yeah. all that yeah, kind of stuff right yeah saxophone player right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know don't mingle with the audience yes yeah. don't know yeah. how well that works so, out myself uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is another thing it's like I tell people like, you, have you the Anybody who makes these policies, just come to one show or just yeah. watch a live show online or whatever mm-hmm. and see what it's like. So, it's like, can you imagine a, a metal band playing on stage and mosh pits are not allowed? Yeah. Like, no stage diving, no none of that. Yeah. It's just like everyone's sitting there go like, mm, please stay away from me. Yeah. yeah. I'm enjoying the music now, right? Yeah. Four people that in, in a group, I'm like, this is not, this yeah. is not this, right. Yeah. I mean, just one last thing. I mean, like, we had... You know, this, this, oh, because one thing we had to promise was um, that the musicians would get vaccinated. But mm. already at this meeting, 85% had already been doubly vacci- right. vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. were willing to do anything it takes yeah. to get back to, to work. Get, yeah. They yeah. really were, right? So we, you know, it's like, why is this now? Yeah. Even if you get vaccinated, you don't get any benefits. This is another oh, yeah, big don't argument. Even oh, yeah. We, yeah, we don't even get us started. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's with the venues, yeah. right? Yes. And all these different categories and the audience have to have one jab. And yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, it's, okay, we're doing it all. So can we have more leniency? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do people learn about the charity? How do people follow it? Oh, it's musicians-foundation.com. Okay. And I think it's Musicians Foundation Hong Kong on Facebook. Mm. Uh, we haven't set up other social media yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're nearly got the charity status, but we've started to help some musicians. And Can people you know, go on and learn about the cause on the yes, website? Yes, donate, on the website, uh, yeah, to see follow, who's involved okay. and everything. Great. That would be wonderful. Perfect, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll talk more about the other side of what you've been doing, also maybe your your habits and your productivity skills and everything in the, in the Patreon episode. So if you guys want to hear more from Chris B, Patreon, subscribe to us, HoHoPod. For $5 Patreon. a month, yeah. I would say actually... The subscribe to the to the charity first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some musicians first. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if you have a, if you can spare five dollars after that, yeah, you can put it in the Patreon. Oh, that's very yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, that's, what, that's less than a price of coffee, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, it's, it's for the whole month too. Yeah. And yeah, you get access to exclusive content. Uh, obviously, like uh, extra interviews with our guests. Chris, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else aside from the charity you would like to plug? The website. Uh-huh. The website and undergroundhk.com and and just yeah if you like jazz or live music in an outdoor setting 13th 14th of November at the Gold Coast nice awesome thank yeah. you Chris thank you.